Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another in my new series. This is going to be how to film a YouTube video. Um, I don't know how in depth I want this to be. I'm thinking um, I'm going to go through some talking points and I'm going to kind of explain how to film a video, what things you need, what you need to be prepared for, and everything like that. I've got my little my little list here. So this is basically what we're going to be doing today. Um, this is my Valentine's Day makeup look. It is already out. So if you guys want to see this look, then I'll have that link down below for you guys. You guys can check it out. Um, but we're just going to hop right into this. So, how to film a YouTube video. One, first you want to make sure that you have an intro. So, that is what I said at the beginning of this video. Mine is really simple. It is just, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Some people have different things. You can say, hello, hi. You can change it up every time. You can have like a special intro or something. Whatever you want. The thing about having a YouTube channel is it is your creative outlet. You can make it whatever you want to make it, um, which is super exciting and really fun in my opinion. Your intro and stuff is going to be like second nature to you. Like when you turn on this camera and you look up there, it's going to fly out of your mouth. So it's got to be something quick, something to introduce your audience to your video and to you. So like, I'll give you a couple of different options here. We'll throw them in right here. Hey guys, my name is Daphne and welcome back to my channel. Hi everyone and welcome back to today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So you can pretty much do whatever you want, do whatever is comfortable for you. Mine again is really simple. It's not anything like, like specifically to me. Um, so yeah, when you first sit down to start filming, you want to make sure your lighting is good. You're, you have a good backdrop. So I have an actual backdrop. When I first started, I obviously didn't have an actual backdrop. Actually, I had a black one. I'm not gonna lie. I had a black backdrop. Don't do that. That was like the worst thing that I did for my channel ever was a black backdrop. You don't want a black backdrop. Um, you want to make sure that you are centered in the middle of your screen. Yeah, so you want to make sure you're in the middle of your screen. You want to make sure that your camera's on. You want to make sure that you can see yourself in the viewfinder. If you don't have a viewfinder, you want to kind of figure out what to do. To be able to see yourself, maybe have somebody stand behind the camera, make sure you're in focus and stuff. But yeah, so after that, um, you want to explain what the video is. So in this video, I explained that this was going to be the second video of my series. And it is, you want to say what the title is, you want to explain what it is, whatever it is that you're doing, you want to kind of tell the audience what to expect, like what this video is. And if it's going to be like information based, kind of like tell them what it's going to entail, what to expect. After you finish your intro, you're going to go into your base video content. Now, this is the bulk of the video. This is like this portion of my video is the bulk content like portion. This is where you're going to be doing your tutorial or answering your questions or just filming the main part of your channel. This is where you're going to get into the actual video. You want to think about future you. So when I think about future Daphne, I think about editing Daphne and sometimes I go off on tangents or I talk too fast and it's extremely hard to, to edit when you are talking a million miles a second, which is usually what I do, which is my hardest thing to do when editing is I have to like edit through my, my words to just string them together. So you want to make sure that you're talking slow, clear, loud, but not too loud. Don't whisper your camera. You have to think about how far away your camera is. That's how far away your microphone is. Remember that you can edit anything out. Anything. You can edit out. So, for example, if you're trying to say something and say you mess it up, you can go back, say the whole thing over again, just cut out that clip that you messed it up in and then it'll be like it never happened. Your first video is going to be super awkward. You're not going to know how to talk to the camera. You're probably going to be out of focus. You might not be in the middle. You might stutter on your words or not know what to say or not know, have your thoughts together. So if it's a complicated video or it's something that you're a little bit nervous about, do what I did and kind of make like show notes basically um, to kind of like hit bullet, bullet points on what you want to speak about. So I have to do that sometimes, especially in informational videos like this. because I will lose train of thought like that. Basically, that is the basics. Once you've filmed the bulk portion of your video, you want to do your outro. So your outro is the same thing as the intro. It's just to direct people out of your video. So it can be anything. You guys know what mine is. I say it every single time. Mine is 
Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you all subscribe before you leave, and I would just catch you guys in my next video. Bye! That is my outro. It's really simple, really sweet. I tell them to like, to subscribe, and then I say goodbye to them. That's pretty much it. Do whatever you want. You don't have to do the like and subscribe at the end. You could do it in the beginning in your intro if you'd like. Like I said, it is really up to you, and you have full control over what you do in your videos, which is amazing. Don't think too hard about it. Don't look at somebody else's channel and copy them. Like, get inspiration. Cool, but like, do your own thing. Make it different. Make it like, I feel like anybody who hears that at the end of my video will know that is a Daphne video. That is how she ends every single one of her videos. You can say whatever you want to say. Just make sure that it coincides and it flows nicely. Um, once that in outro is done, you will have an end slate. I talked about the end slates in the first video in this series, so I will link that below and up in the card so you guys can watch that. Um, but the end slate is going to go at the very end of your video, so after your outro. So if there's something specific on your end slate or, you know, something like that, like I put my video links in the end slate, so you could say something like, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to check out some of my other videos, you guys can check it out right here. And then you can have it end, and then it will show your end slate, and then it will have the videos on there. You guys can really do this however you want. My intros and my outros have changed up pretty much throughout my channel growth. I always do a wave in the beginning. I always do two waves at the end. I don't know. Like, it's just... It's just something that now I do it and I don't even think about it. Like it just comes out of my mouth. Like, sorry, my camera cut off. So this is my end slate here. You guys can see my video links and my subscribe links. This is what shows after every single one of my videos. And this will lead you to the next video slash to my channel slash to show you that my video is done. The last thing that I want to talk about and not really go too in detail because it will be in future videos, um, but. Okay, so this is gonna be vlog style. It's on my phone, my camera just died. Um, you guys are watching this video. It's almost done, but I did just want to talk about my setup. So your camera, your backdrop, and everything like that. I will go into detail on what equipment I use in a future video. So just keep an eye out for that. But I really just wanted to kind of make a video on how to film a video. Right now, I will kind of show you guys a behind the scenes of me filming this video and I'll kind of set up my phone and show you guys what it looks like from the other side of the screen. So I will insert that right here. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the first video in my So you guys basically just saw um, my intro. I just filmed like the behind the scenes. I messed up. I left that in there for you guys, but in the actual video, that you're watching you didn't see that at all so that is the power of editing don't forget you can edit anything out so this is kind of the um behind the scenes of the film making so obviously my camera is here this is the back side of my setup if you guys have seen my beauty room tour you guys have already seen this sorry the lighting is weird my light is facing this way obviously we've got my backdrop and everything right here and this is kind of what that looks like um obviously every setup is going to be different but that's just what mine looks like I do want to show you from my angle sorry I'm probably yelling this is what it looks like I've showed you guys this before again my equipment and stuff I will go into a full detailed video on it and why I use multiple screens and etc etc I will go into detail but this is what it looks like from my side again camera is centered just like that I do have my flip screen out even though I have a monitor so you guys can see it you want to make sure your ring light looks good and yeah that's pretty much that on this end all right, guys, so that is pretty much the behind the scenes of me filming this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was informational. I hope you guys create a channel after this. And yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you all subscribe before you leave. And I will just catch you guys in my next video. Bye.